Honestly, obedience are rising from all over. Obedience are rising from all over. You heard me. Yes, so it's you, Edochi. He has spoken out. It says, if you believe, eh? Peter Obi does not have structure to win. Then go and defeat him on in, in February. Go defeat him. If you think, you know, Peter Obi does not have structure, he cannot win. Then go and defeat him. Let's hear what you're saying. Go defeat him. We don't understand. Why 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 there's so much uh, uh, force? Peter Obi is this. All the words coming up and uh, you cannot um, you cannot speak the truth. You are neither here nor there. Uh, wait now. Election is around the corner. Okay? Election is around the corner and uh, we can we, we will see who Nigerians have picked. Anyway, my wonderful people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. If you believe Peter Obi does not have structure to win, then go and defeat him in February. You, Edochi, revealed. People the popular Nigerian actor Yue Duchi released a statement through his Twitter landu where he argued that people who do not believe that the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi has the structure to come out in February and defeat them should go and rest. He is speaking to Solido, the governor of Anambra State, author Eze, who have been castigating Peter Obi and other presidential candidates. It says there is no need to argue. Let's wait till February. The odds will speak for themselves. We will get to know who the tides are in his favor. There is no need to argue, honestly, sincerely speaking. He also urged those who think that the all progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Metunubu is too old to stand up and defeat him also in February. Anything you're not happy with, there is no need to announce it. Wait carefully and you will get it. He says, quoting the initial statement released by you, he said, If you think Peter Obi does not have the structure to win, go and beat him in February. If you believe Tunubu is too old, then defeat him in February. If you think Atiku cannot unite Nigeria, go and beat him in February. This is politics. Ranting at home will not change anything. We need to stop all this and we need to stand up and ensure we get our PVCs and speak and release the statement we are trying to make to Nigerians. We don't all have to try to make things go down and bring things in perspective of uh, destroying the nation. Let's rise to it. Let's ensure that uh, we know everything that we need to do. It's, it's, it's very un unclear what these things are, you know, where these things are headed. We need to ensure that uh, we rise up and we, we bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. As it stands right now, Nigerians need to ensure that we do everything, humanly speaking, possible and bring the nation right back on track. If you are not happy with any of the presidential candidates, there is no cause for alarm. Show it and reveal it by your expression of your vote. But you cannot sit at home. You don't have a PVC. And you are trying to uh, dis decide on a matter you don't even have. Uh, you don't have jurisdiction because you don't have the you don't have the capacity to vote. Your first point of call, your first voice and speech in this matter is your PVC. How many Nigerians truly have their PVC? Author Easy Charles Soludo should leave Peter B alone and allow the masses decide. They should go out and vote for the candidate. They feel they've, they've got in Nigeria and uh, that our Nigerians have picked and that Nigerians want. This will, will be all made clear by the time the elections are done in February. I think you, uh, for the first time in a long time, I think you have spoken well. Mm. I think I, I, I agree with you. There's no need for, there's no cause for alarm. There is no need for us to beat ourselves and to fight. There's no need. Honestly, sincerely speaking, there's no need. The days of flogging ourselves over because of presidential candidate must be over by now. None of them truly, sincerely are thinking about you. To be quite candid, if you know who they are, if God is to open your eyes and you will see who they truly are on the inside, fear of God will catch you. You will respect yourself. Again, what did I say? You will respect yourself. You will go there. You will vote for the candidate you think you know uh, deserves to be Nigerian's president. You will go home 
and you will have a good nap. You will not kill yourself over people that, you know, are particularly working and looking out for themselves. Nigerians, we must become very, very wise. Eh? The days of allowing them to bamboozle us and give us all kinds of uh, tales, bulls and everything and just walk away must become done away with. We, every single one of us must begin to see clearly that it is important that we are, we, you know, we are, we are aligned with the position of truth and bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. And every single one of us must continue to tell the truth. You know, you know, we just have to begin to rise up to the occasion and then we cannot, we cannot, uh, you know, we cannot leave the, the, pos the position and the true, you know, the true meaning of who we are and where we are headed. If we want anything to change, if we want this country to become a better place, if we do really want to see, you know, everything that we've been wishing for and, you know, has only just been in our minds, then we need to get back on the drawing board. Okay? You know, we need to get back on the on the drawing board and ensure that we, we, we rise up to the occasion and do everything we possibly can. You know, today, as, we, as it stands, a lot of issues are on ground and um, every single one of us, must bring you know nigeria out of the current uh, devastation and everything that is happening okay that is happening uh so it is what it is it is what it is and uh, we just have to you know we just have to begin to rise to it okay we just have to begin to rise to it and ensure that uh you know and ensure that we do everything humanly speaking possible okay uh, we shall do the, everything humanly speaking possible to drive the course of change because if we don't Okay, if we don't, we will be surprised what will follow. We must begin to realize, okay, that every single one of us are important in all of this. Every single one of us are important in all of this. Every single one of us, okay, are important in all of this. Okay, so it is what it is, honestly, if you ask me. It is what it is. And so we must ensure that, uh, you know, we do everything, humanly speaking, possible and save, you know, the con country from the from the current devastation okay that is currently happening okay we must save this country we must save this country from it anyway don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news god bless have a lovely and a fantastic day from us is bye for now have a good day bye bye